Welcome loyal followers of the Top Max channel. New video new topic as usual. We always talk about our country, Australia. Today, we are talking about the scandal of publishing sexual photos and videos of MPs that is shaking the government. Pictures and videos showing employees of the Conservative Australian government carrying out sexual acts have been released in Parliament, further weakening the executive, which is being criticised mainly for pervasive gender discrimination in the political class. Conservative Prime Minister Scott Morrison condemned these actions, saying they were shameful. Morrison finds himself in a position of vulnerability mainly due to his handling of several cases in which one accuses a former employee of a colleague of rape. It appears that the video, photos and audio were shared within the framework of a group chat between employees of the provincial government before they were disclosed by a reporter. It was published Monday by the Australian newspaper and Channel 10, and it sparked a wave of denunciations, especially as it added to a series of cases that shed light on the culture prevalent among the Australian political class and caused demonstrations in all parts of the country. The reporter, who was identified by the name Tom, confirmed to the two media outlets that government employees and representatives sometimes have sexual relations in the prayer hall of parliament, even if they may have brought prostitutes into the building for coalition deputies. They are morally finished, he explained that employees also share pictures of themselves of a sexual nature and that he personally received some of them. He spoke of the mentality of men who consider that they can do whatever they want. He believed that these people may not have violated any law except that they are morally finished. A picture shows a person masturbating on a deputy's desk. A councillor has so far been sacked, and the government has promised tough measures. Women's Affairs Minister Marise Payne, who is also the Secretary of State, said the disclosure of this information was shocking, and reinforced the need for a government-ordered investigation into the culture of work in Parliament. Several parties have long condemned the sexual discrimination of the political class, in particular the sexual harassment practices that women are subjected to. In mid-March, tens of thousands of people took part in a peaceful protest campaign pound March for Justice, denouncing acts of sexual violence and demands for gender equality. Industry Minister Karen Andrews said she was really tired of sexism, adding, My conscience no longer allows me to be silent. Accusations of rape she told the press in Canberra that her ruling Liberal Party should consider adopting a quota system for elected office. Two cases of banners related to two ministers have tarnished the reputation of the centre-right government in the recent period. Former government employee Brittany Higgins confirmed last month that a colleague raped her in 2019 in Linda Reynolds' Parliament office, who was then Minister of Defence Industries. The latter, who became Defence Minister, was criticised for the way her office dealt with the young woman's accusations at that time. In early March, Tretz and Porter, the government's chief legal adviser, categorically denied that he raped a 16-year-old teenager in 1988 while he was a student. She died last year, and he initiated prosecutions against the public broadcaster ABC on charges of defamation, as the initiative was to reveal these accusations. As for the Labour opposition, which adopts a quota system, it is not immune to accusations of sexual discrimination and harassment, and a group has formed on Facebook dedicated to this matter. This is what we have today. We hope you have taken advantage of this information. I meet you in new video and new news. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.